welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be having an unboxing of the American Airlines Boeing 747SP by JC Wings. Uh, the registration on this plane is November 602 Alpha Alpha. And it's a pretty nice airplane to be honest. I honestly love the 747 along with some long haul jets and stuff like that. And the SP might not be on my top 10 list, but it's pretty high up there. It might actually be on my top five list to be honest. I don't know. It probably is one of it probably is one of my top ten. I don't know. It's like a controversial plane for me in, in a way. So looking right now we have the box. It's a pretty good design. We have the airplane. I'd say it's a bit more than what Gemini would do, but I wish it had the flap but Gemini Gemini. We got to visit it. Uh, you have the height and the wingspan and all all that stuff. That's what uh, the manufacturer, all that stuff. And yeah, also says the engines, registration, and 602, not alpha. And yeah. So uh, we have all the Boeing licensing and all that stuff. I don't see any errors with the box. Box seems nice. So uh, yeah, let's get to unboxing it. So, uh, opening up the box, nothing that bad. And we have the beautiful 747. I took it out earlier today uh, after I bought it at the store. Oh, I opened it at the store. I opened it so I could just make sure it was in one piece because there's a tendency that the lining gear comes off with random stuff like that. So, here's the airplane. And I'll uh, take it out. And it gets two gray lights here shortly. So, here's the airplane. It's uh, pretty beautiful. And, uh, Get all the paper on for it, the plastic, and I'll be right back. So, how the box is pointed out, it seems pretty nice. Another thing I forgot to say is the actual box design and how it looks. I'll rate it a solid 9 out of 10 for the box. Oh, I forgot to uh, say that earlier. But coming on to the aircraft, it's a nice SP. Um, I would say the size is a solid 10 out of 10. It's more as most planes, the gear doesn't seem to be too high, it doesn't seem to be too low, and it actually seems to be uh, pretty good. The detail is spectacular, I uh, love the wing tips and all that stuff. Uh, there is rolling landing gear, you can tilt it. Honestly, pretty good model for a 747. This is actually my first 747 SP, and I did have a 747 when I was uh, younger, when I was maybe five, but that broke, so you know how all that went. But now uh, we can just begin to review the airplane. So, we have the R1 door right here. We have all that stuff, all the windows, and down here it says luxury liner, and we have the wheel. And then we have the upper door, and we have the cockpit with all the windows. So windows seem pretty good. We have the R2 door, R3, R4. No upper wing exits, so detail, I don't know if they have it. I bet they do. That's probably why the windows are a bit spaced. Um, but moving on, we do have the landing lights. We do have the, um, or it's called navigation lights, position lights. Navigation position lights, probably not position, since that would be more or less beacon lights. But this is more or less navigation position lights stuff. So I just got to zoom on it. There we go. And uh, on the back, we have our tail. Pretty good design. Um, you can kind of see the AP sticking out, so that's actually some pretty good detail. I'll go to that in a moment. But the chrome design, it's pretty beautiful. The design looks good. Uh, windows seem to be in good order. We do have antennas on the top. Well, there's only one antenna on the top. We have one antenna on the bottom. Right over, if I can actually go, right over there. If it'll focus. And yeah, and then we'll go on to the other side. Other side. Uh, pretty simple, straightforward. L1 door, L2, 3, 4, all that stuff. Nothing much. We have our engines and all that stuff. We have our lights. Nothing much. It's a pretty clean design, to be honest. I'll say fingerprints get on it a bit too easily. And a weird description I'm going to give it is it's slippery. It's a weird description, but it is true. It's um, slippery according to her. The chrome kind of makes it slippery, and it just doesn't feel right. For a model but other than that for the mold we'll give it a i don't know what do we want to give it 
Looking at the mold, it seems pretty good. Engines, in my opinion, seem a bit too small. I honestly don't know exactly. So at this point, I'll give it a 9.75 on the mold uh, due to some uncertainty. And um, other than that, it looks pretty good. Mostly everything seems good. Wheels are good. Nothing's wrong. Going to the underside, apart from the antenna being there, we also have the landing gear and we have uh, engines. Uh, we have right here, four, three, two, and one. So, yeah, should be like that. One, two, three, four, yeah. And then in the back, actually, we actually have two antennas on the bottom, one by the front landing gear, one in the back, but I don't want it hitting the mat that I have laid out, so I'll we'll just give it like that. Another detail that's kind of a bit outstanding. Uh oh. We can just cut that out. Well, wasn't that a little plot twist? Uh, my stand with my brand new iPad Pro just decided to collapse. So, moving here, back. It's a bit of a weird detail, but the APU is sticking out. That is actually a pretty good detail. We do have the flag on the back. I'm not going to count all the stars, but looking at detail, it's a solid 9.75 out of 10, apart from maybe the emergency exits. But details, it's a 9.75 out of 10. So, yeah, that's pretty good. Colors, chrome. I love the chrome. I love the wing color. Uh, if anything, they could have done the cockpit colors a bit better. Other than that, it's gonna get a 9.8 out of colors, which these are the ratings. The colors are 9.8 out of 10. Details are 9.75 out of 10. Size is 10 out of 10. Mold is 9.75 out of 10. The box design is a 9 out of 10. And yeah, I'll be back when um, I'm done grading all of this stuff. And so my final reading for this aircraft is it's a pretty dang good model. And uh, coming back onto our grading sheet, so I can actually, there we go, it zoomed in a lot, but it got a 97, 48.3 out of 50. Um, I'll just fold this up to make it a bit more visible. There we go. That's what this plane deserves. A really good grade. And it's, and it well deserves that because it has a lot of good details. I don't see anything that's really wrong with this model and yeah. It's like the Gemini Jets, um, what was it? A319 or 737-700, it's pretty good. I specifically would go with the A319 since if I could, I would rate that like a 98 um, due to all the detail and all the good stuff going around it. Or it's like the NG737-800, I would rate that at a 9.9 or a 10 out of 10. So this aircraft is a really good model and I would highly recommend it. And yeah, that's all there is to it. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great day or weekend or whatever day it is for you. Hope you have a great one. And I'll see you guys in the next video, which is probably gonna be an airport update. I'll probably do it for my newest airport, San Jose. Probably do it for New York, and I'll probably also do it for Bourbon. So stay tuned for those episodes, or more or less those videos. So see you in the next one.